Nearly six decades ago, India carved its name in space launch by launching a two-stage Nike Apache sounding rocket from Kerala's obscure fishing hamlet Thumba near Tiruvananthapuram. A technician carried the rocket on a bicycle from the assembly line to the launch pad and a bullock cart ferried the payload. Since then, the Indian Space Odyssey has traversed numerous landmarks. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has emerged as a key player in global satellite launches and manufacturing industry. The nation has earned international recognition for launching lunar probes, built satellites, for others too, ferried foreign satellites up and even succeeded in reaching Mars. The space agency has developed heavy lift launch vehicles and communication satellites that have made telephones, mobile phones, satellite television, telemedicine and teleeducation a part of our daily life. India's planetary program got a boost with the launch of the Mars Orbiter mission or MOM. Since September 2014, the Mars Orbiter Mangalyaan has been observing Martian landscapes and studying their composition using its five science instruments. India built the Mangalyaan to study the red planet and test key technologies required for exploring the inner solar system. It made ISRO the fourth space agency in the world to do so. Prior to India, the United States, the Soviet Union and the European Space Agency alone had successfully explored Mars. India added a feather to its cap by sending the first lunar spacecraft Chandrayaan-1 to the moon, the first under the Chandrayaan program. Its major goal was to collect data about the moon's geology, mineralogy and topography. Chandrayaan-1 played a crucial role in the discovery of water molecules on the moon. The findings were confirmed by the US Space Agency, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The mission was concluded after a year. Ten years later, Chandrayaan-1 was followed in July 2019 by Chandrayaan-2, a highly complex mission that represented a significant technological leap compared to the previous missions of ISRO. Chandrayaan-2 is considered as a challenging mission as the south polar region of the moon was totally unexplored by any space agency before. The program focuses on the extensive mapping of the lunar surface for studying variations in its composition and tracing the moon's origin and evolution. Its orbital experiments will be operational for seven years. The upcoming missions of the Indian Space Research Organization mainly focus on manned space travel, Gaganyaan, studying the Sun, Aditya L1, and soft landing on the Moon, Chandrayaan-3. In addition, several satellite launches, both domestic and foreign, are also scheduled by ISRO this year. The Moon orbiter of Chandrayaan-2 has been operating successfully for more than two years. However, the Vikram lander had suffered a hard landing after loss of control over the thrust of the spacecraft. To avoid a similar incident with Chandrayaan-3, ISRO has made adjustments to the lander. There is a change in the propulsion system. Similar to Chandrayaan-2, the program is expected to target a near-polar landing area and will operate for a single lunar day, 14 Earth days on the surface. ISRO is also slated to launch the space docking experiment towards the end of 2024. It includes launching two satellites on PSLV and then making them to dock with each other in the vacuum of space. The project could set the stage for a future space station from India. ISRO's manned Gaganyaan mission is also moving ahead. The selected Indian astronauts have successfully undergone generic space flight training in Russia. An ad hoc astronaut training center has been established in Bengaluru. Ahead of the launch, ISRO will test mission abort sequences. The tests are designed to verify that emergency systems will be able to deliver astronauts to safety in the event of anomalies during launch. ISRO plans to launch two trial flights without crew. A female humanoid robot named Vyom Mitra will be a part of the unmanned and manned missions. India's next grand project is the scientific mission to the Sun. The Aditya L1 mission will probe why solar flares and solar winds disturb the communication network and electronics on Earth. ISRO plans to use the data from the satellite to better protect its satellites from being damaged by hot winds and flares ejected out of the Sun's corona. Anuja Kumar for World News. 